Well, we're happy to have uh, Dynamiter number 27, Brace McDonald, uh, sitting with us. And uh, unfortunately, Brace, you're sitting up here and not on the ice. Can you tell us why? Uh, yeah, I broke my ankle there in Princeton uh, a few weekends back on a two-on-one play. Hey, you scored on the play, did you not? Yeah, I scored. <laughs> So it, it hurt, but maybe not as much as it could have? No, yeah. Def, that felt a lot better from that. So looking at uh, what's happening with you, uh, oftentimes uh, an injury such as that uh, could be a season-ending ending injury, but uh, from what I understand from the coaching staff, you're fairly confident that you're going to be back before the playoffs. Um, I'm, it's my last season, so I, I almost have to think that way. And uh, the way it's healing and feeling, I genuinely feel I can make it back for playoffs, but... It's just a matter of taking it one day at a time, letting it rest, doing what the doctors are telling me, and doing all the stuff just to get better, and hopefully at least get a few more games left in my 20-year-old season here. As a 20-year-old coming to the Dynamiters, uh, your thoughts of, of the team in general and how they're going? Well, I was here last year too, so, yep. and this year I think we're having a great year. We have another, we have something special in the room again, like close group of guys, great hockey skill, and I think we have a chance to do something special once again this year. If you can't make it back this year, and, and is, this could very well be your last last hockey season, what are your plans for the future? Um, I might just go to school or start working. I quite haven't uh, thought of that yet. I got a couple of school offers, so I might see where those go out and just go from there after hockey. So if, if you're uh, going to school, is there any possibility that you could uh, be playing hockey for a university somewhere? I think so. If I'm going to go to school, it's going to be to play hockey. All right. So, sure. what are, what are some of the opportunities that you've had, uh, or have people have talked to you about? Um, I've been contacted by just one school in Toledo. They just uh, said they're interested in me, and other than that, nothing big. You know, it's kind of hard to get people interested when you got a broken ankle. Exactly. Out there playing. You, you don't skate nearly as well as if you have two good feet. No, exactly. <laughs> so, Brace, uh, looking at your um, the history with the Dynamiters. Uh, I think we viewed you as, as kind of that, that gritty player that uh, doesn't mind getting into the into the tough areas and, and uh, working out the puck. Um, is that kind of what you feel your strengths are as well? Uh, I feel I I'm definitely have the strength and size to be in the corners and battling, but I feel I can move the puck to anyone or shoot the puck with, it, uh, with anyone too. So, Who, who were your line mates uh, normally when you were playing? Uh, it changed so much. I couldn't even say a set line, honestly. I played... Uh, a lot with uh, Bert Bratoya, or Brad Bratoya, sorry. Yep. And other than that, just all through the guys, all different guys. I think it changed every weekend. So when you got got your injury in, in, uh, in Princeton, right? Yeah. Um, so tell us, kind of run through the how that how that happened and, and um, how you were able to get back to, to Kimberly. Um, well, it was a two-on-one play, like I said, and I just was in full speed, and then uh, Cam Russell there slid the puck over late. Kind of surprised me, so... As I was banging it in, I, uh, I caught an edge there and went into the boards funny. And I I don't really remember this part, but in the video, it looks like I tried to stop my body with my right foot going into the boards. So I feel I feel when I went in there, I, I, that's where I did it. And then I tried to stand up afterwards, and it just you could, I could tell right away something wasn't right. And So did you, did you go to the hospital in, in Princeton? So yeah, I was stretched off the ice in Princeton. I was in the hospital there. And um, my ankle bone actually wasn't attached to my foot bone on the bottom so they had to push it back into place in Princeton Ouch! and then bandage that back up and I was back to Kamloops that night me and my girlfriend drove back to Kamloops that night and I was in the hospital the next day being ready for, getting ready for surgery which it didn't happen because I it was the first day of ski season so they had someone <laughs> come down from there and there was no room for me okay but I, uh, I got in there on like we played the Friday I was in surgery on Sunday got the, I got a plate and in there and four screws and uh, ever since then it hasn't hasn't really bothered me much so I noticed you're, you're wearing a boot not a not a really big cast is I guess, is that the the normal thing now instead of the the big cast that uh, goes up the, all the way up the leg I just actually had got my cast taken off okay this is a good this means it's a good sign it's healing well because I, I usually take this off at home and let it air out and stuff and I can move the ankle now which is really good all right so after you got uh, your surgery in, in Kamloops, um, from then what happened? Um, my girlfriend has a place in town there, so just rest. Like, like you can't do anything with one foot, really. Right. So lots of just fluids, waters, hanging out on the couch, watching movies, reading books, you know. Video games. Video games. You're, yeah, you're, you're an expert at the video games now. I must. I gotta be. <laughs> lots of practice. Oh yeah. 
sure. So, Bryce, tell us a little bit. Uh, you're, are you from Kamloops? Is that uh, where you came from? I'm, a, I'm from Logan Lake. It's okay, small, which is north of Kamloops? Yeah, small okay. town outside of Kamloops, just about 30 minutes or so. Great. It's a small town of like, 2,200 people, so it's nothing to it. And I um, grew up playing minor hockey in Kamloops from Pee Wee on, so that's where most of my friends are, and I spent lots of time up there. And how did you uh, how did you manage to come to the Dynamiters? Um, I was in Dryden last year, Ontario, playing for a junior A team there, and I was I was traded out farther, but I wasn't I didn't want to go there. I just wanted to come back closer to home because like Ontario is pretty far. And um, one of my buddies from Counts was playing on the team at the time on Kimberly. He's okay. Mason, Mason Plaga from last year. I'm sure everyone remembers him. Everybody remembers Plaga. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm good friends with him, and he told me to come out here, and I came out here and I fell in love with the place ever since. <laughs> And then uh, coming here last year, um, how was it to fit in with, with going from junior A to junior B? Does, uh, was there any issues with fitting in with, with the players and, and the team and whatnot? I don't think so. Last year we had a great group of guys. Similar to this year, you, you come into the room and you're welcome with open arms and just like another brother walking through the door. How about the coaching with, uh, with Dryden versus uh, coming to a junior B club? Is it the same sort of coaching style or it's how did that work? Most, I've been, as you guys seen when I first came, I've been around quite a bit, and most of the coaching styles are sim very similar, just a few tweaks here, different things there. Some coaches do this and that, and it's just kind of little things that have changed. Okay, so right now you're you're in town for, for a day or so, just kind of uh, taking care of a little bit of business and then heading back to uh, Kamloops? Yeah, well, I, when I broke my ankle there, I didn't have, I was just planning on going to Princeton and Summerland and coming home, so all my clothes and my car and everything I own was out here in Kimberley, so... I had to make an arrangement to get down here and get all that stuff, and I thought for sure I'd catch a game and watch the boys. So um, looking at uh, hopefully coming back, are you, you're obviously going to keep in touch with, with the coaching staff and the training staff to, oh, yeah, to, to let them know how things are going? Everyone, the coaches, the trainers, the players, I'll, I'll stay in touch with all of them. Like, so, yeah, I was only here for a short season, like part of the season, but it's, they're all like my brothers in there too, just like last year. So. So looking at uh, at the club this year, at, since you since you've left, and we've got a couple of changes. Mm -hmm. uh, Connor Zidane, I think, uh, had just come before you you got injured, was he not? No, no he's, he was he, here from the I knew Zidane, yeah. He was okay. here from the start of the year. And then uh, he was he was moved up to uh, to Columbia Valley and, and uh, Ryan Skate. And I know you've played against Ryan Skate. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have. So give give us your thoughts on on uh, that particular change for the Dynamiters. Um, I think it's it's good for the veteran have another veteran guy in the locker room. He's played. Uh, how many seasons with him? I'm not even sure. Lots of seasons. So just another 20-year-old veteran to help out with the rookies because, like, uh, we have so many younger guys on the team. Just another helping hand is huge. So Indeed. It'll be huge uh, late down the season coming too with the depth and everything too. All right. So um, do you want to give a shout out to uh, to anybody before we uh, end this? Uh, no, I don't think so. You don't want to say your, your girlfriend's probably not watching tonight? No, she's here behind me actually. Oh. <laughs> well, you can shout out to my. Uh, my uncle, who might be watching, Uncle All right. Cam. And then, who's your billet here in, in Kimberley? Uh, I own on Lyle. The Priors. Yeah. Yeah. Great, wonderful billets. Great Excellent. People. Well, Bryce, we appreciate you coming and chatting with us. Yeah. Thank you. All for the best, me. and uh, hopefully, with any luck at all, you're you're back. Uh, with a game or two left in the season. Oh, to, we'll be calling my number soon. I hope so. Yeah. Although I'm calling your number now with number 27. Ryan Skate took over your number. It'll be a new number, I guess, when I come back. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can beat Ryan. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, number 27, Bryce Thank McDonald. You. Thanks, Bryce. Yeah.